So, hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, kung saan man kayo sa mundo ngayon. Welcome to our session ngayon. By the way, I am Philip Ayanimbong. I will be your speaker for this session. And um, just a quick background about myself. I am 25 years old. I am a computer engineer and I'm also a PhD holder already. And I am a freelance ESL and piano teacher. And I am a licensed financial educator here in IMG. So today, I am going to teach you on the concepts that I know here in IMG na hindi nyo pa na-encounter siguro sa school or sa trabaho po ninyo because uh, this is exclusively to sa IMG. So let's start and let's know about stock market today. And uh, by the way, just a quick a background about our company. Our company is International Marketing Group. So we are a financial brokerage company. It is registered under Insurance Commission. So here in IMG, we have campaign. Our global campaign is financial education. So it means to say we are teaching financial literacy and our goal is to have 30 million people by the year 2030 financially educated families. So sa tracker natin ngayon, we are already 4 million. Um, sa tracker natin. So kung gusto nyo mag-register sa campaign namin, just ask the person who invited you kung paano ka makasali dito sa 30 million. Okay. So why do we teach financial literacy? It's simply, it's simple because the real rule of money is changing. Nagbabago na po yung galaw ng ating pera. So tingnan yung po dito yung history natin, history of our deposit rate. Uh, during 1984, malaki yung interest rate dyan, di ba? Kasi that is during Marcos era. So okay lang kung maglagay ka ng pera during that time kasi mataas pa yung interest rate. Pero kung ilagay mo yung pera ngayon, this year, 2021, so alam niyo naman, magkano na lang yung interest rate natin. It's, it's just less than 1% na lang, di ba? So, you know, I'm not against with the bank because bank is good for my business, for my transactions. But when it comes to investments, maling-mali talaga pag ilagay mo lang siya sa banko. Alright? And also, second is we teach financial literacy because we lack financial education. So according to the study conducted by the Citibank, in 2018, the average Filipino has a financial quotient of 53%. So ibig sabihin, bagsak po tayo. Right? Bagsak po tayo when it comes to financial literacy. And that's so sad to know, right? So that's the reason that uh, why, uh, that is why maraming Pilipino, they never learn. Kahit na-scam na sila last year, tapos meron namang bagong offer na scam ngayon, tapos kagat-agad, di ba? Mas-scam na naman, di ba? Hanggat may makikita silang po sa Facebook na may bumabalik na pera at meron mga cheka, cheke na pinakita sa Facebook, Iba ang bilis lang matempt ng mga Pilipino, iba. Kaya kaya nga na scam agad. So pinaki, pinakitaan ka lang ng cheque, pinakitaan ka lang ng malaking percentage, iba. Na scam tayo agad is because we lack financial education. So that's why we need to be financially educated. So the mandate of our president Duterte is that to give financial uh, education to the families. So that's the reason why our mission is to all is also alive with the mandate of our President Duterte. Diba? So that is uh, one of the reasons why we teach financial literacy. Next is, number three is, we, uh, we teach financial literacy because people live longer today. So the, live, the life expectancy, expectancy of Filipinos sa mga kalalakihan is age 69. Sa kababaihan naman is age uh, 75. So kung nakita nyo dito sa mga edad na ito, Retirement and healthcare crisis yung na-experience ng mga matatanda na sa edad na ito. Diba? Most of us, pinagpasapasahan lang sa ating mga anak. So anong sinasabi? Ma, doon ka muna kay ate. Pa, doon ka muna kay kuya. Diba? That's the reason why wala tayong financial independence. So ang mga retirees ngayon, it's either nasa mga anak or worse, nasa home for the aged. So this lockdown, this pandemic that we have right now, this is the mirror of your retirement. Ibig sabihin, titingnan nyo yung sarili nyo, yung future retirement. Diba? Yung, your future retirement. Gusto nyo ba ang situation ninyo ngayon na nasa bahay lang kayo, naghihintay ng ayuda, walang source of income, walang pumapasok na pera, at napakaraming gastos. Gusto nyo ba yun? That's why we should prepare for our retirement. We should learn the financial literacy because there is no other way. So your retirement could be the longest or could be your longest holiday or your longest nightmare. So it's either nasa dalawang daan lang yan. So pili ka lang. 
Gusto ko ba ng longest holiday, longest happiness, or longest nightmare? So, hindi pwede na nakadepende ka lang sa SSS, sa pension mo, sa GIS, GSIS, o sa PhilHealth. Because we all know that our government funds has a limited resources lang. So, we should plan ahead and secure our future. Lalo na kung ikaw ay bata ka pa. Di ba? Next is, okay, we teach financial literacy because of the high cost of living. So, many people today have difficulty in saving money because for their future needs. Di ba? Lahat naman tayo mayroong mga future needs. Kasi ang inflation natin tumataas. So, ibig sabihin ng inflation. Anong ibig sabihin ng inflation? Ito ay tumataas yung mga presyo ng bilihin. bilihin commodities, services, at ang mga, uh, at the same time, bumabay ba yung value ng pera natin. So kung nakita nyo po dito, yung 1,000 pesos nyo po na pera dati, dami nyo po mabibili dyan, di ba? Yung baon nyo dati, di ba? Yung baon po dati na 5 pesos, 10 pesos, ang dami na natin yung bibili nyan, di ba? Dati. Ngayon, anong nangyayari? It's either isa or dalawa na lang ang mabibili or wala na talaga. That is why kailangan natin mag-ipon at kailangan malaman ang investment na ito. Second reason is, bakit tayo mag-ipon? It's because of debt, utang. Marami tayong utang. Mga Pilipino kasi hilig talaga sa utang. So wala, wala namang masamang mangutang. Depende na yan saan mo ginamit yung utang mo. Diba? Isa ka ba sa Pilipino na nangutang? It's because para may paghanda or panghanda at ipakain kung may mga celebration or mangutang ka para may pambili ka ng cellphone, pang, may pang-travel, I, 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 isa ka ba doon? Mungutang ka para may pang-lifestyle ka, may ipakita ka sa ibang tao, yun yung mali. Di ba? Pero kung mungutang ka for business, for investment, for education, that is good debt. So may, bu may, may bumabalik sa'yo na pera. Di ba? That's a good thing. Alright. So sabi dito ni Robert Kiyosaki, the famous author of uh, Rich Dad or Rich Dad Poor Dad, Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. So kung wala kang financial intelligence, dali lang talaga mawala yung pera mo. Kasi hindi mo alam saan mo ito gagamitin. Diba? So yan ang problema dyan. That's why we need financial intelligence. So now we are now here in our main topic, the basics of stock market and mutual fund investing. So intro pa lang yun kanina ha. So backer pa lang yun ng company natin. So ngayon this would be the opportunity for you if you're looking for another source of income or income stream or investment vehicle kung saan ilagay yung pera mo. So let's start. So if you want to build long-term investments first, you should understand how money works. Okay. Now, there are two types of income. So meron tayong tinatawag na active income. Ito po yung income from your direct labor. So kung natrabaho ka ngayon, OFW ka ba, seaman ka ba, engineer tulad ko, teacher ba, or basta you are employed right now at may sahod ka, it means to say that that is active income. Ibig sabihin, pag may trabaho ka, may makuha mo, makuha mo yung perang ito sa sahod mo. Of course, right? So, kung doctor ka sa pasyente mo, of course, doon ka kumukuha ng income sa pasyente mo, di ba? Of course, kung lawyer ka sa kliyente mo. Kung OFW or CFR ka sa, alright? So, every time kung meron kang contract, kasi meron yan silang contract. Kung ahente ka din naman, every time kung meron kang commission. So, ibig sabihin, you are exchanging your effort, your time for money. Kaya tinatawag siyang active income. Alright. So the second type of income is the passive income. Ito yung, income, hindi, ito yung hindi masyadong common sa ating mga Pilipino. But this kind of income keeps on uh, coming even if you're not working. Ibig sabihin kahit nakahiga ka lang sa bahay mo, basa-basa ka lang ng libro, nagtitiktok lang, diba? nood ka lang ng Netflix, YouTube, you stop working, your income still continue. That is passive income. So this is very ideal right now. Lalo na kung ikaw, lalo na kung naka-lockdown tayo or uh, so yun nga uh, walang trabaho or wala tayo um, let's say marami marami pa rin tayong ginagawa tapos gustong magka-income, di ba? So yun, uh, ito yung uh, maganda kung meron kang uh, gusto mong magkaroon ng passive income. So saan natin makikita yung passive income? So it is the interest income from your investments like mutual funds, stocks, bonds, long-term healthcare insurances. So meron tayong tinatawag na business. So ito ay royalty income pag meron kang business or franchises, di ba? So if you're an artist, of course, nagsusulat ka ng libro, di ba? So yun, if you're a singer, isang beses ka lang mag-record at magsulat ng kanta, pero grabe yung royalty fee sa iyo, di ba? And then meron din tayong tinatawag na rental income. So this is also kind of a passive income, naghihintay ka lang 
na may pumapasok ng pera sa sa pinag-uupahan mong bahay, di ba? So condominium, apartment or boarding house. So every 15th day or last day of the month, meron kang matatanggap. So di ba napakaganda kung uh, pag meron kang passive income, but most of our lives, we are being customized or being accustomed for active mem- uh, income, di ba? Bata pa lang tayo, minamansita tayo sa, at, uh, sa ating mga magulang na mag-aral lang mabuti para malaki yung grado mo at makahanap ng magandang buhay. ba? Diba? Yun yung sinasabi ng ating mga magulang. ba? Diba? Hindi yung hindi yung mag-aral ka ng mabuti para makapag-build up ka ng magandang business at makapag-invest ka. Hindi ganun, ba? Diba? Opposite. So naghanap ka na ka, naghanap ka na ng magandang trabaho, pero yun ang problem diyan, di ba? Ah uh, nagtagal ka diyan, let's say 20 years. <laughs> diba, let's say 20 years ka sa trabaho mo, hindi ka nakapag-stop kasi yun nga uh, baon uh, may, uh, wala kang ibang sources of income tapos baon ka sa utang, di ba? Wala kang ipon. So there is something wrong, di ba? So that is why we need to uh, uh, we need to know that uh, what is wrong with your finances. Diba? So we are very busy working for hard for our money for the money that you forget to let your money work for you. So you know we have three phases sa ating buhay sa as a tao, di ba? So una man at work, ikalawa is um, ma, um, money at work, alright? So lastly is money at work. So yan yung passive income. So dapat hayaan mo na yung pera mo magtatrabaho para sa yon. So yan ang uh, passive income natin. Okay, so yun. Next is, how do we make money work for us? How do we have this passive income? So we have this what we call rule of 72. This was discovered by Albert Einstein. So it's called the power of compounding interest. So let us say I'm opening a savings account in the bank. Let's say BDO, the biggest bank in the Philippines. So I put 10,000 pesos and BDO will only give me 0.25%. So let's, uh, for, but for calculation purposes, let's make it bigger. Let us make it by 1%. So as you can see, uh, by the way, before I forget, when we say rule of 72, when we say power for compounding interest, it is dividing the number 72 by the interest rate of your savings or investments that will give you the estimated number of years it will take for your money to double. Ibig sabihin, malalaman mo na kailangan, mag- kailangan, um, kailangan madudoble yung pera nyo uh, uh, with the interest rate that you are having with your investment. So, yun nga, yung sample kanina, let's say I'm saving in the bank or in the BDO. And only BDO will only, only give me 0.25%. But for calculation purposes, let's make it by 1%. Para hindi tayo mahirap mag-divide. So, as you can see here, after 72 years, magiging 20,000 na po yung pera nyo. Pero ang tanong dyan, ang laki, malaki na ba yan 20,000 at the age of, uh, after 72 years? Diba? Malaki na ba yan 20,000? Diba? So, yun. So, at ang tanong din dyan, kung buhay ka pa ba niyan? <laughs> ba? So, yan lang kasi ang buhay natin. It's either we live too long or we live too short. So, what if you live too long? Malaki na yung 20,000? Hindi din. ba? Kasi, grabe na yung inflation natin ngayon. So, minsan hindi pa tumutubo yung pera natin sa banko. ba? So, yun ang liit. Ang liit lang talaga. So, mas malaki pa yung withholding tax tapos mayroon pa inflation. Imagine, mas malaki pa yung mas malaki pa yung inflation kaysa sa tubo ng pera mo. That's why it's not advisable to put our money in the bank. Kasi kung ilagay mo lang siya sa banko, of course, bibigay ka talaga din ng banko na mas malaki pa sa 1% or sa 0.25%. Of course, para, para ka lang mag-stay sa kanila. Diba? Mag-stay. <laughs> hindi ka iwan. Hindi, hindi mo sila iwan. So, ano ba yung 4%? So, of course, meron tayong 4% sa bank. That is what we call time deposit. So, let's say, naglagay ako ng 100,000 sa bank at the age of 29. So every 18 years, tumudoble yung pera mo dito. So at age of 65, magiging 400,000 na po yung pera nyo dito. So ang tanong, magiging happy na ba ako niyan na mayroon ako 400,000 at the age of 65? Malaki na ba yan? Of course, hindi. Maliit na yung 400,000 at the age of 65 kasi ang mahal na ng bigas niyan. Ang liit na ng value ng 400,000 at the age of 65. So dapat ati ilagay yung pera natin sa mas malaki pa sa, um, sa 4%. Okay? Kasi yun nga, uh, we need to beat the inflation. So, yun nga. Uh, do you think nakatago lang po yung pera nyo sa banko? Or nakatago lang po yan sa vault ng banko? Hindi, ginamit yan ng bank. So, that, nilagay nila sa mas malaki pa sa 4%. Kasi mayroon silang alam na 8%. So, yun nga ang problema dyan kasi hindi natin yan alam. So, yung, pa, yung mga pera ng mga depositong 
dumudoble na yung pera natin dito every nine years na lang. So at the age of 65, alright, so every years, every nine years siya doon dumudoble, di ba? So at the age of 65, magiging 1.6 million na po siya. Pero yung 400,000 is binalik na ng banko sa iyo, di ba? Pero yung na- meron kasi na iwan. So yun, 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 yun na yun, uh, lumalaki na siya. So at the age of 65, meron na 1.6. So meron na sila 1.2 million pesos na income kasi 1.6 million minus 400,000 is 1.2 million. So yung 1.2 million pesos, yun na yung kita ng banko. And that will be used for their operational expenses, expansion, putting other branches. At iba pa niyan, in-invest pa ng banko sa mas malaki pang interest rate. Kasi alam pa silang malaking interest kaysa sa 8%. So may alam silang 12%. So yung pera nyo, ang bilis lang lumaki nung banko na ang gumamit, di ba? So nagiging 6.4 million pesos na po yung pera nyo dito at the age of 65. Di ba? Ang laki. So yun. So yan ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. Saan ba yan 12%? Bakit hindi natin yun alam? It's because ang banko lang po ang may alam nito at mga rich people. That's why the rich gets richer while the poor gets poorer. So sa itsang depositor lang po ito na illustration. So what if? Tayong lahat na po, lahat, tayong lahat na deposito. Diba? So napakarami at napakalaki ng income ng banko. Ngayon, saan ba yan 12%? So tingnan muna natin itong history of our deposit rate. So from 1976 to the present year. So as you can see, during 1984, malaki po yung interest rate di ba? So sinabi ko na ito kanina sa presentation. Diba? So that's why we need to make sure that we know the interest rate of our investments para we can beat the inflation kasi kung lagay ka lang ng lagay tapos maliit lang pala yung interest rate diyan di ba so malulugi ka talaga uh, you are you are defeat you are defeated by the inflation rate di ba so ngayon um how do we make money how do we have this passive income so let's skip this one all right so how do we make 6 million so of course pwede ka magtrabaho para maka 6 million di ba or hayaan mo na lang yung pera mo na magtrabaho para sa ano ba yung gusto mo Alright, magtrabaho ka para maka 6 million or hayaan mo yung pera mo magtrabaho para sa iyo. Okay? So, how many years you work to make 6 million? So, kung mag uh, nagkaka-income ka ng um uh, 15,000 or let's say uh let's say 15,000 or more or 15,000 more or less every month. So, that's 200,000 per year, di ba? So, you need to work for 30 years para makapag-ipon ka ng 6 million, di ba? Pero hindi ka kakain yan. Wala pa yung expenses, di ba? So, pero kung hayaan mo yung pera mo, yung pera na ang mag-work para sa'yo. So, all you need to do is to have 100,000 and put it in 12% interest rate. That is 6.4 million pesos after 36 years. So, ang question, may 100,000 pesos ka na ba ngayon? Kasi kung wala kang 100,000 pesos, it's okay. It's fine because you can start with 1,000 pesos. So, it's just 33 pesos a day. Start ka mag-ipon and discipline yourself and start ka mag-ipon ng 33 pesos a day. And that is 1,000 pesos every month. So, put it in 12% and that is also 6.4 million pesos in 30 years. So, how the, so how did it happen? So, ngayon, we will discuss it here. So, in building your long-term investments, kung ikaw ito, then where should we put our money? Is it in the bank by opening a savings account or in mutual funds by investing here in mutual funds? So of course, ikaw naghanap na in, saan maganda mag-invest. Let's say, kung sa bank ka maglagay ng pera, you are called as a depositor dyan, di ba? So you are opening a savings account. So the money that we save in the bank, di natin alam that the bank invested it in government securities, cover, commercial papers, stocks and equities, and retail loans, and real estate, and they can gain 12% with that. At tayo, depositor, bibigyan lang po tayo ng 0.25% wherein sa ngayon, nagiging 0.25% alam po siya. So, grabe po inflation kung sa banko ka lang po magsisave, di ba? Kung sa mutual funds mo siya nilagay or uh, sinave or nag-invest, so you are called as a shareholder dyan, di ba? So, of course, dyan, uh, as you can see here, dyan din siya naka-invest sa government securities, commercial papers, tax equities, retail loans, and real estate. But the good thing here is that if they can earn 12% with that, you can earn and gain 12% too with that from your savings or investments. Diba ang ganda? So saan mong gusto mag-invest? Diba? Of course, sa mutual funds talaga. Diba? Kasi marami, uh, kasi yun nga, equal yung matatanggap mo. Diba? What you get is what you have. Uh, what you invest is what you all can also gain here. Okay? So 
as you can see here in RA number 848, for otherwise known as Tax Reform Act of 1997, gains realized by investors upon redemption of their shares in a mutual fund have been excluded from the definition of gross income effective January 1, 1998, and are therefore not subject to personal income tax return. Ibig sabihin po na wala kang tax pambayaran sa mutual funds investment. So yung uh, investment mo, yun talaga ipapasok sa sa investments mo. Diba? Walang, walang deduction sa tax. So, ngayon, how much can you save to achieve your goals? Let's say 1,000 per month lang po ang masasave mo. So, kung sa bank mo lang siya ilagay sa time deposit, so kung sa time deposit, mayroon kang 4% interest rate dyan, di ba? So, after 30 years, mayroon ka lang masasave na 694,050 pesos. Pero kung sa mutual funds mo siya nilagay, mayroon kang interest rate dyan na 12%, di ba? So, after 30 years, magiging 3, uh, 3 million plus na po siya, di ba? So, ang laki ng difference kung sa mutual funds mo siya nilagay. What if you can save more than 1,000 per month? Let's say you can save uh, 5,000 per month. So if you save it in mutual funds, after 10 years, million na ka na po. Diba? So ang laki ng difference pag sa mutual funds mo siya nilagay. Ngayon, um, okay. So kaya always remember, the higher the yield, the higher the risk. Mas mal uh, so mas malaki ang balik sa'yo, napaka-risky talaga niyan. Diba? Kaya kung merang nag-post sa'yo na risk takers only, alam mo na talaga ano ibig sabihin niyan. Diba? Dapat alam mo rin yung risk tolerance mo, di ba? So kung anong klaseng investor ka, okay lang ba sa iyo na maliit yung returns pero totoo, di ba? The best way to reduce risk is to if you want to invest in stock market is to invest in mutual funds, di ba? So this is the most legal to invest our money. It's not an easy rich quick scheme, easy money, no, it's not in an easy money. Na gusto mong tutubo agad yung tinanim mo every month. Hindi ganyan, all right? Sorry, I need to fail your expectations. So, hindi ito easy money ha? Itong stock market, hindi ito easy money. Or even mutual funds. Meron tayong, meron tayong tinatawag na time horizon. So, now, the types of mutual funds, depende talaga din yan, anong classic kang investor. Okay? So, this is uh, the types of mutual funds. Number one is, okay, the first type of mutual fund is bond fund. So, bond fund is good for cons uh, conservative type of investors. So if you want to grow your money for 4% to 6% yearly or per annual, this is the best way for you to invest. Okay? So uh, this is this fund is for you if uh, you are an investor with low appetite for risk and you are amendable to modest returns. So if you want to dip your tools into investing and try at least like a uh, least risky of all medium term investments first. This is bond fund, okay? So this is a low risk type of mutual fund, okay? And uh, this is uh, you are investing in government securities and commercial bonds or corporate bonds, okay? So the main investment objective is capital preservation and reasonable growth. So the reasonable, uh, the recommended length of stay here is short term. It's just one year to two years, okay? So that is bond fund. Next, we have balance fund. Balance fund is a moderate risk type of mutual fund that invests in combination of equities or stocks and fixed income investments. So the allocation varies according to the fund's objective is that the main investment objective of the fund is for medium and long-term growth. So as you can see, this fund is designed to seek total return through current income and long-term capital growth through invested. All right? So this is this fund is for you if you are ready to invest and are currently looking at long-term investing horizon. So you are willing to take the risk but are not ready to have 100% exposure in the equity or stock market. So you want uh, this fund is for you if you want to invest in both stocks and bonds with a limited budget only. All right, that is balance fund. Next is stock funds. Stock fund is an aggressive type of mutual fund that invests mostly in shares or stocks or corporations. That the main investment of objective of this is that it's for capital growth and fund appreciation for a long period of time. So uh, the recommended length of stay of this is long term, talaga. Right? Since it's aggressive. Okay. So um, okay, if you want this stock fund, make sure that you have a high appetite for risk and willing to invest for learn long-term investment, all right? So you want to invest your funds in both blue chip companies or blue chip stocks and second liners, which is alpha stocks. So you have no immediate 
uh, need for your investments and are willing to invest for the long term. So if you want to invest here in stock funds, so uh, at least five years or more, the length of stay on this uh, long term invest of this stock fund. Okay, so that is our types of mutual funds. Now I have three scenarios right here. Pwede niyo i-check anong pwede mangyari sa pera niyo pag nag-invest kayo during this scenario. Okay, so please chat on the chat box which scenario do you prefer more? So we have here first scenario, maganda yung economy natin, di ba? Pag maganda yung economy natin, positive yung GDP natin, di ba? Growth uh gross domestic uh product, di ba? So yan din ang mangyayari sa shares ng stocks natin tumataas. So maganda ba mag-invest sa scenario number one? What do you think? Check natin mamaya ha. So next is scenario number two. Bumababa yung economy pero unti-unti siyang bumabawi, di ba? Ganun din nakasabay. So ganun din nakasabay din siya sa price ng stocks. So bumababa din tapos it gains back. All right? How about scenario number 3? Mag-invest ka ba sa scenario 2 or 3? So sa scenario 3 is biglang bumagsak yung economy pero unti-unti siyang bumabawi. Sumabay siya sa presyo ng mga stocks ng companies. So bumabag, bumagsak din siya pero unti-unti siyang bumabawi. Alright, so now, if you're an investor, which scenario are you going to invest? Is it scenario 1, scenario 2, or scenario 3? Let me know. So please put your answer in the chat box. So ano po yung preference nyo? Uh, is it scenario 1, 2, or 3? So kung ako, kung ako yung tatunin nyo, I would prefer choose scenario number 3. How about you guys? So how about you? Is it scenario 1? Ano, anong yung prefer, preference nyo? Scenario 1, scenario 2, or scenario 3? Kaya ko. <laughs> Alright. So, I will show you the scenarios. Alright. So, now, <clears throat> okay. Here it is. So, let's check your answers. Alright. Thank you, uh, ma'am. Alright. Thank you, ma'am Evangeline and ma'am Jurita. So, scenario 1. Okay, ma'am Ness. We'll see 1, 2, 3. Wow. <laughs> okay. 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 I see Rista to see Mom Nelly. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> All right, scenario one. Okay, it's Nick's answer. All right, thank you so much for answering. So let's check your answers. So sa sumagot sa scenario number one, if you have invested in 1,000, if, if you have invested 1,000 pesos per month for six months, ito po yung mangyari. So ito po yung scenario natin. So you, you invested 1,000 pesos per month, di ba? Dito sa first month natin, ang presyo is 10 pesos, di ba? Nakabili ka ng 100 shares sa 1,000 mo. So, sa second month, nagiging 12 pesos siya, di ba? So, nakabili ka ng 83.33 shares. So, ganun din nangyari pag, pag naging 14 pesos siya. 16 pesos and hanggang sa 20 pesos. Okay? So, yung, uh, as you can see on the shares here, on the, uh, kung naging 20 pesos na po siya, naging 50 shares na lang po siya. Di ba? So, on the first to six month, ang nabili mong shares ay around 422 and uh and uh, 422 pesos and 81 cents, di ba? So kung kailangan mong ibenta yung shares mo or ipupull out mo yung pera mo, titingnan mo kung ano na po yung value nun, di ba? So i-base mo siya sa current market value natin or sa last share price or sa net asset value per share natin. So yung, yun, uh, yun yung uh, 20 pesos, di ba? So it times mo yan siya sa total shares natin. Okay? So which is 422 pesos and 81 cents. Ngayon, Magkano na yung total value niya? So, 8,456 pesos and uh, 20 cents minus 6,000 pesos, di ba? So, yung total contribution mo, that is your to total contribution, di ba? Yung 6,000 pesos kasi 6 months ka naglagay ng 1,000, di ba? So, mayroon kang gain dyan na 2,456 pesos, di ba? So, yun. I-minus mo yan dalawa. Magkano na, di ba? So, 8,456 8, pesos and si minus 6,000, nagiging 2,456. Ah, mali yung computation, alright? It's uh, 2,455 pesos and uh, uh, 80 cents, alright? So, yun, mali yung, mali yung computation natin dito. Pero that is the value of that, alright? That is your gain after 6 months. So, let's say, uh, let's say sa sumagot sa scenario number 2. So if you have invested 1,000 pesos every month for 6 months, ito po yung mangyari. So ito po yung scenario. You invested 1,000 pesos dito sa first month. So ang presyo is 10 pesos. So nakabili ka ng 100 shares dyan, di ba? So 1,000 mo. Second month, nagiging 7 pesos siya. So nakabili ka ng 142, 142 and 90, 142.90 shares, di ba? 
Ganun yung nangyari sa 5 pesos. Diba? Tapos tumaas na naman siya, naging 6, 7. Diba? Tapos bumalik siya sa 10. Diba? Yung share natin dito per share. So, yun. So, on the first to sixth month, ang nabili mong shares ay around 852 and 50 cents. Diba? 852 pesos and 50 cents. So, kung kailangan mong ibenta yung shares mo or ipupull out mo yung pera mo, tining, uh, tingnan mo lang yung uh, value ngayon or uh, i-base mo siya sa current market value or yung net asset value per share. So, yung uh, 10 pesos, di ba? So, yun yung 10, 10 pesos, di ba? So, itimes mo lang siya sa 852 pesos and 50 cents. So, magkano na siya? So, yung total value niya is 8,525 pesos, di ba? So, yung, naghuhulog ka ng 1,000 per month, di ba? We have 6 months, so it's 6,000 overall. So, magkano na yung, magkano yung gain mo after 6 months? So, it's 2,525 pesos. Uh, 2,500 pesos. Uh, yeah, tama nga. <laughs> 2,000 pesos and 525 pesos. Yun na yung gain mo after 6 months na naghuhulog ka kung sa scenario number 2 ka. Let's go with scenario number 3. Let's say. Let's see. So, di ba? Nung bumagsak yung price ng stocks at slowly tumataas naman din siya, di ba? So, if you have invested 1,000 pesos every month for 6 months, ito po yung mangyari. So, you have invested 1,000 pesos dito first month. So, yung pressure niya is 10 pesos pa. So, nakabili ka niya ng 100 shares. So, you, so anong mangyari? May, nakabili ka ng 100 shares dyan, di ba? Sa so, second month, so, nagiging 4, 4 pesos na lang siya. Bumagsak siya, di ba? So, nagiging 4 pesos siya. So, nakabili ka ng 250 shares dyan. So, ganun din mangyari, di ba? Sa so, 2 pesos, nagiging 500 shares at naging 1 peso, di ba? Pero, nakabili ka ng 1,000 shares naman, di ba? So, okay lang kasi... Yun nga, tumataas yung nabili mong shares. Kasi nag, nag-sale yung uh, market na, market dyan, di ba? Market price. So, as you can see, so tumataas siya na naman, di ba? So, nagiging 2 pesos hanggang nagiging 5 pesos. So, yun. So, let us total it. Alright? So, magkano lahat, magkano lahat na bili mong shares? It is 2,550 pesos. So, kung kailangan mo siyang ibenta or Uh, yung shares mo or i-pull out mo yung pera mo, tingnan mo lang ano yung value or magkano yung value natin dito. So, i-base natin ito ha sa last share price which is the uh, 5 pesos. ba diba? So, yun, i-times natin yan. So, yung total value natin dito is 12,750 pesos. ba diba? Tapos, i-minus mo siya sa total contribution mo na 6,000 pesos. ba diba? Let's say 6 months ka naghulog na 1,000 every month. So, magkano yung gain mo after 6 months? Nagiging 6,750 pesos after 6 months, di ba? So, ang laki. So, siya ang pinakamalaki sa tatlong senaryo. Di ba? Since ngayon, baba, uh, baba masyado yung share price natin ngayon. Di ba ngayon, nagbaba yung share price natin ngayon. So, it is the best time for us to start and invest, di ba? Huwag niyong hintayin tumaas. Sayang, sayang yung panahon kasi. Huwag natin sayangin yung panahon. Lalo na ngayon pandemic, di ba? Bumababa yung share price natin. So, yung stock price natin mo mababa. Naka-sale po siya. Yan ang ibig sabihin yan. So, dapat sumabay ka na. ba diba? Nasa scenario number 3 po tayo ngayon. So, you should start it now para ma-enjoy mo yung gain after ng ilang buwan. Okay. Ngayon. Alright. So, you know, in every difficulty, there is always an opportunity. So, of course, pag mababa siya, it's good to buy shares. So, pag investor ka, pag mababa, pag mababa siya, It is the best time to invest to buy kasi hindi ka matakot kung dapat hindi ka matakot kundi maging masaya ka kasi nag-sale siya or bumaba yung share price. Pag tumaas na naman siya, hold ka lang, di ba? Huwag mo muna i-sell or withdraw lalo na kung hindi pa siya na-hit sa goal mo. Dapat long term ka mag-isip dito. All right? So we have this what we call buy and hold strategy. That is peso cost averaging. That is the secret and the technique here. If you want to grow your investment here in stock market. So kaya lagi natin isipin yung long term kung mag-invest kayo sa stocks. Alright? So as you can see, uh, during Marcos people power, alright? during Ramos power crisis, and sa revolution hanggang sa global financial crisis, saka baba yung price natin. So, diba? so dapat long term tayo mag-invest dito. Okay? So yung yung orange arrow pala diyan, yan yung average natin. Okay? Kaya meron tayong tinatawag na peso cost averaging or buy and hold strategy. 
Alright? So, dapat long-term time invest tayo dito guys sa pag-invest sa ating stock market. Okay. Ngayon. Now, ano ba itong mutual funds? Alright? So, it's a, it's a stocks or equity fund. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, pooled money from different investors. So, aggress aggressive in capital growth. Money generally invested on blue chip companies listed on Philippine Stock Exchange. So, as you can see here, the fund house, dyan maglagay yung pera natin. Dyan, dyan maglalagay yung pera natin. So, pera niya, pera nating lahat. Alright? Pera nating lahat as investors. So, it was well div diversified ang pera natin sa mutual funds. Hindi lang siya sa isang company naka-invest or naka uh, hinuhulugan. Pero sa madaming uh, companies siya na uh, sa mala maraming companies siya hinuhulog. Okay? So, naka-diversify yung investment natin dito. So, pag wala kayong idea pa sa stock market, mas mabuting mag-mutual funds muna kayo kasi nandyan si fund manager para magpagalaw sa shares nyo. Kinakalat ni fund manager sa mga companies. Hindi sa isang company lang. So, naka-diversify po yan siya. Kaya napaka-safe nito. So, sa naman nagsabi dyan na scam ang mutual funds, tingnan nyo lang po ito. Ang pera natin sa SSS, in-invest sa mutual funds. Diba? SSS invest in mutual funds. Ikaw pa kaya? Diba? So, yun. So, napaka-legit yung mutual funds natin na investment. So, now, what are the benefits of investing in mutual funds? So, number one is professional management. So, that is our fund managers. So, this person is very expert in handling and managing our shares. Diba? So, uh, we should trust them kasi uh, pinag-aralan yan at alam lang ang ginagawa nila. Alright? So, next one is instant diversification. So, para hindi malugi si investor. So, hindi lang dapat sa isang basket nilagay yung pera. Diba? So, yun. Safety and transparency. So, kasi nakasek tayo. Hindi gusto si sec na hindi transparent. Kaya safe talaga dito kasi transparent. Diba? Potential high returns, of course. Especially if you think long term, it will really give you higher returns. Diba? Of course, low capital requirement. Diba? For as low as 1,000 pesos, you will have already an initial investment in mutual fund stock market. Diba? And of course, yun yung sabi ko kanina, tax exempt. Kasi tayo mga investors, wala tayong tax kasi tumutulong tayo sa mga companies. Kaya yun, tax exempt ang mutual funds. Alright, so may isang investor dito na invest ng 5,000 pesos. Sinakpan na natin yung pangalan niya kasi uh, dahil sa private, data, privacy law, data, data privacy law. So ito siya, nag-invest siya ng 5,000 sa Phil Equity Fund po ito ha. So meron po siyang NAV per share na 9.735,000. Okay, yan po ang value niya. So, ang bilis lang po tumaas ng shares niya dito, di ba? So, tingnan nyo. So, yun. Ito po siya. Hindi, hindi niya nagdagan yung 5,000 pesos niya, in-invest niya. Alright? So, 5,000 lang talaga yung nilagay niya. So, di natin alam kung bakit. Alright? Kaya, lang, kaya yan lang po yung tinubo ng peka niya. Di ba? Kasi, yun, yun lang nilagay niya. 5,000 lang. One time lang siya nilag naglagay. Tapos, wala na siya. Hindi na yan dinagdagan. Di ba? That is for 9 years. Di ba? So, yun. So, kung hindi ka regular nag-invest, matatalok talaga sa inflation. Kaya same invest talaga dapat regularly. So, yun. So, yan. So, after 9 years, di ba? <laughs> so, magkano lang, yung, magkano lang yung gains niya? It's only 15,000 pesos and 664 pesos and 25 cents. Kasi yun nga, ang total share, uh, yung shares na bilhin niya is 496 shares. Kasi yun nga, yung kita nyo dito, uh, amount invested is 5,000 lang, di ba? So, yung price per share niya is 10.735. So, uh, ang total niya na bilhin yung shares is 496 lang. Diba? So, after 9 years, so yun, dito lang yung nakukuha niya, 15,664 pesos. Kasi hindi siya nag, uh, nag-save at invest regularly. So, yan ang ay, dyan, problema. So, ngayon, it's only 34.8% ang yung tinubo lang niya diba? per year. So, hindi mo siya talaga ma-appreciate kasi hindi siya nag-invest regularly. So, yun lang ang problema dyan. So, that's why we should save and invest regularly. So, you know, I just want to share to you that one of the uh, uh, benefits of being an IMG member is that uh, you will enjoy uh, free investment seminars and you will enjoy 0% entry fee sa lahat ng mutual funds. Alright? So, I just want you to know that Soldivo funds are from Firamper Financials. Alright? It's not from IMG. So, uh, they are the ones who, who who sold all the funds, okay? Because they are the official distributor of Atram, 
and, 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 and many more. Okay? So, exclusive lang po ito sa lahat ng IMG members. So, Rubber Financials is partner with IMG. Alright? So, zero load forever ka dyan kung ikaw ay isang IMG member. So, yun. So, automatic mutual fund investor ka na din pag ikaw ay isang IMG member. And, dito naka-invest yung pera nyo dito sa ating top 10 holdings. We have SM Investment Corporation. We have Ayala Land. We have Ayala Corporation. SM Prime Holdings. BPI, we have uh, BDO, we have ICTS, we have Jollibee Food Corporation, Metro Pacific, and we have Bloomberry. Diyan naka-invest yung mga pera nyo na na-invest. So, na-enjoy mo talaga kasi wala kang entry fee binabayaran. Tapos, matututo ka pa kasi you have no reason not to, not to learn kasi free lang po lahat ng investment seminars dito if you are an MG member, di ba? So, saan ka pa? So, sa labas pa ito, may bayad yan. Okay? So, ngayon, one, uh, for as low as 20 pesos pala, makapag uh, top up ka na. Dati nasa 1,000 yung additional investment dito, di ba? Ngayon, for as low as 20 pesos, pwede ka na makapag top up. Di ba? So, wala ka na talaga rason or reason makapag, uh, hindi makapag invest at save, di ba? So, you are, you have the reason already to save and invest. Okay. And before I forget, uh, meron pala tayong sub account dito. So, uh, nakagandahan dito, if you want to save invest for your educational funds, for your children, so, pwede mo siya ma-specify sa portfolio nyo dito sa Soldivo Funds na ito ay para sa kay Juan na educational fund. Ito kay para kay Maria na educational fund for her college fund. So, you can specify that on your sub-account kasi it's uh, modifiable, it's editable din. Alright? So, yan ang kagandahan dyan. You will be more motivated to invest and save pa talaga. Alright? So, now... Ngayon, let's go here. So we have also a uh, trading platform. So if you want to invest in uh, uh, direct trading or direct investment in stocks, so we have my trade platform. So advice ko lang po na uh, before you go here in uh, trading, make sure that you understand everything about trading before you go in. Kasi malulugi ka or uh, yun nga ang problema dyan, uh, hindi mo siya pinag-aralan. Uh, diretso ka agad nagte-trade, di ba, nag-invest pero wala ka tala, wala hindi mo pala pinag-aralan. So baka masusunog lang yung pera niyo, di ba? So that's why we should make sure that we understand already trading investment. So you know, we have two ways to invest in Jollibee. All right? So we have become a franchise and invest more or less 30 million to open one branch or become a shareholder in the stock market or mutual funds and you only need 1000 pesos minimum for your initial investment. So kung wala kang 30 million para pang open ng franchise, pang open ng one branch ng Jollibee, then you can still invest in Jollibee and be a partner of Jollibee through uh, by becoming a shareholder in, in the stock market. All right. So as you can see here, okay. So how much do you have? How much do you have right now? Okay. So if you don't have thirty million, then of course I'm pretty sure uh, you can uh, you can afford one thousand pesos to be a shareholder in Jali, uh, of Jollibee, di ba? So okay, as you can see dito. Yung, uh, yung uh, uh, market price natin last 2013 is still 100 pesos per share, di ba? So, uh, after a year, naging 180 na po siya. After, 20, after that, 2015, naging 200 plus. Then 2016, 250 pesos per share na po siya. So, uh, after that, uh, during February 2018, nagiging 283 pesos per share na po siya, di ba? So, ang, uh, lumalaki siya habang tumatagal, di ba? So, kung naka-invest ka ng 100,000 noong 2013 na 100 pesos per share pa lang siya, so, ngayon, mayroon ka ng 283,000 pesos. ba Ang laki. ba that, That's why long-term long, long thinking, investing is very important. ba So, bida-bida sila sa sila sa mga, bida-bida uh, silang mga shareholders, ikaw na lang hindi. ba Kasi yun nga, uh, you are already enjoying your in, uh, your investments, di ba? Lumalaki yung investments mo dito. Okay, now, I want you to know that uh, you cannot invest directly if uh, there is no agent or broker. So, if you are an IMG member, one of the good, uh, one of the benefit or one of the advantage if you're an IMG member is that you can already bypass the middleman. You don't need any agent or broker already if you want to invest in stock market. Kasi you yourself is already an agent or broker na. So, if you're an IMG member, of course, you have the direct access to this financial company. Since IMG is a financial brokerage company, then and you are a member of IMG, of course, then you will have the direct access of these financial companies. And if you have the direct access of these financial companies, then you will enjoy the discounts from the financial products that you buy. And with that, 
you can become your own money manager. Diba? Sino hindi gusto niyan? Diba? So, uh, be an IMG member so that you will be a uh, Uh, so that you can uh, enjoy the discounts from the any financial products that you buy here, and uh, you can pick whatever investments what you that you want to invest. Because yun nga you have the direct access to these financial companies. Because if you uh, in because if you're not IMG member, of course you are in the traditional industry. Of course you need an agent at broker. Yun yung sabi ko kanina, di ba? Tapos yun nga ang problema jan. You will pay for entry fee and management fee sa broker and agent. Of and of course. They will also earn commissions from any products that you buy, di ba? Gusto mo ba yan? Tapos meron pang up to 20% tax returns para sa mga banks, di ba? So gusto niyo ba yan? Tapos hindi, di ba? Tapos kung pwede naman hindi, yes, of course, pwede, pwede, as long as you're an IMG member. Okay? So if you are an IMG member, so in IMG, IMG membership is a one-stop shop. So hindi lang po sa stock market ka lang po maka, ma-enjoy mag, uh, makapag-direct invest. So we have a lot of financial companies that you can invest directly. That you don't need any agent or broker na para makapag-invest. So we got it all for you. IMG got it all for you. So you don't need to go to each company na for you to invest. Kasi as a member of IMG, of course, you can have an access to all of this. Okay? So if you want to invest for your healthcare, life insurance, investment for your for the real estate, if you want to Uh, uh, invest for non-life insurances and for our allied financial services, then here at IMG, you will have the direct access to all of these financial services. Alright? So, ma- maabot ito ng 300,000 yung masisave mo dahil sa mga discounts since you're an IMG member. Okay? So, how to start? Okay. So, just become a lifetime member of IMG and uh, talk to the person who invited you to know how. To know how to start, okay? So my recommendation to you is to invest in financial education first before anything else. Because if you spend it with other things, may babalik masayu wala, di ba? But if you spend it with financial education, hindi ka lang natututo bawing bawing ka pa sa mga benefits. So this is, by the way, this is our members portal pala or online page. So at magiging business mo na din, alright? So uh, once you log in, after you log in, this is what you see. You can see your name, your picture, your details, and Uh, announcements, right? You can see here on your portal, everything is here. Your benefits as an IMG member is here. As you can see there on the first the uh, first box on the dashboard is IMG Soldivo Fund. So, yung 1,000 pesos mo sa membership fee mo, automatic dyan pupunta sa IMG Soldivo Fund. So, that's why you are, you are already automatic mutual fund investor. At the same time, hindi lang po yan yung makuha mo. Marami din tayong mga benefits aside sa magkaroon ka na 0% entry fee, tapos free yung investment seminars, you will also have a Fidelity Life Insurance worth 50,000 pesos, pero kailangan mo lang magbayad ng 500 pesos para sa lifetime, uh, one-time membership fee ng Fidelity Life. So, meron ka ng 50,000 cash assistance niyan. Tapos, meron ka pang Everest member service. So, if you don't have uh, St. Peter, so it's very okay kasi para itong St. Peter yung Everest. Just call them. Uh, of course, kung tayo ay kukunin na ni Lord, of course, <laughs> wag naman sana muna. All right? So that is your Everest for your memorial services. And of course, Manila Bankers, uh, you will also have up to 300,000 of personal accident insurance uh, if you get accident. All right? So hopefully, we will, we will not uh, experience that one. But you, we don't know, right? That's why we need to prepare. That's why IMG is giving you preparations by having this personal accident insurance worth up to 300,000 pesos. Of course, we have also um, vision care. So, gusto, kung gusto mo magpa-check up sa mata mo, then free yung check up, free yung frame. Yung lens lang po yung babayaran nyo dito. Then we have Kaiser Medical e-health card dito. And we have uh, Domini Tool if you, uh, if you do the business and we have Kaiser Healthcare din dito. Alright? So, marami ka, marami ka talagang uh, benefits dito aside from... Uh, 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 having discounts sa mutual funds, alright, or having free, uh, having no fees uh, in your mutual fund investment, marami ka pang benefits na makukuha, di ba? So, hindi ka talaga lugi. Tapos, yearly, uh, uh, yung, uh, we have uh, business accreditation pala, kasi this is a bis- since this is a business, of course, gaya din sa ibang business, meron din tayong re- yearly business accreditation that is worth 1,500 pesos only. Of course, lifetime ka member sa IMG, But yung benefits niya hindi lifetime kasi malulugi yung mga partner companies din, di ba? Pero, nasa, pero as a member of IMG, lifetime na yan siya. 
Alright? So, it's only 1,500 pesos. Diba? Hindi ka nalugin yan. Diba? You uh, just save 150 pesos per month. Diba? And that is not heavy. Diba? I-compare mo sa mga benefits na makukuha mo. Diba? Malaki na yan. Uh, maliit na yan. 1,500 pesos. Okay. Now, I would like to highlight this one. The Kaiser Total Resolution. Kasi hindi lang siya investment. Kundi meron din siya healthcare at insurance. A 3-in-1 total solution. Okay? So, it answers the question, what if we die too soon? And... What if we live too long? So this is the key and the answer of these questions. So now, to know more about Kaiser, join us on our webinar mamaya ngayon after, uh, after a few minutes. Uh, mamaya ngayon 5 p.m. Join tayo to know more about Kaiser Total Solution. All right? So it's a three-in-one uh, savings or saving program. So healthcare, life insurance, at investment. So now, who are the members of IMG? So, ito po mga members ng IMG. We have, uh, we have um, uniform personnel. Okay, mga police, coast guard, sundalo, jail guard, uh, bombero, sila. Nakapag-invest yan sila sa mutual funds at nakakaunan sila ng healthcare. So, nag so yung nag-isip dyan na scam ba si IMG, tingnan nyo lang po yung members ng IMG, mga uniform personnel, di ba? Tapos, teachers, of course, natuhuan natin sila makapag-invest. Di ba kasi yung mga teachers natin baon sa utang, di ba? Tapos underpaid pa. Dito, natukuan natin sila makapag-invest, makapag-ipon, at magkaroon ng healthcare at insurance din. Tapos, mga OFW at CPRs, ang goal natin or our mission natin is tulungan natin sila makapag-retire ng umaga at makauwi ng umaga. So, ang kinikita ng mga OFW sa abroad, kinikita na rin nila dito sa IMG, di ba? By doing the mission of IMG. Same with the CPRs. Alright? So, Ito pala si Sir Dave Vallejos. Isa po siyang seaman uh, nung wala pa siya sa IMG. So, isa po siya, isa po siya sa natulungan ni IMG. So, uh, yung nana niya isang fish vendor. So, he realized how hard it is to work um, yung, uh, as a seaman and of course yung mom niya as a fish vendor since uh, palaging umaga maghising. Diba? So, he realized that he need to do something. Diba? Kasi ang hirap pag ang buhay ganyan lang palagi. So kaya yun, yun nag-quit siya sa pagiging seaman at nag-full time siya sa IMG kasama yung nanay niya. Ngayon, nasa, nasa pinakataas sa position na po si Sir Dave ngayon sa IMG. So he already have the financial freedom by building the solid financial foundation. So he traveled the world with his mom. Just look at this one, pictures. Ang dami na lang napuntahan dahil sa pag-build ng solid financial foundation. So they just follow what they learned here in IMG. So, kung kaya ni Sir Dave yan, alam ko kaya, kaya nyo rin yan. Okay? So, now, before we end, sabi ni Bill Gisito, founder ng Microsoft Corporation, if you are born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you are, but if you die poor, then it's your mistake already. So, even though you listen attentively today, you learn a lot today in our webinar, but you did not take any action, di ba? So, nothing will happen pa rin, di ba? You should act now before it's too late. So, just like Sir Dave, di ba? Who is the youngest, uh, who is the youngest uh, uh, being promoted to the highest position here in IMG. So if Sir Dave doesn't take any action, then Sir Dave will not be here in IMG. But because of his determination to achieve his goals by being financially free, he received this uh, reward as being the most uh, young or the youngest, uh, the youngest investor that uh, being promoted to the highest position. Diba? So napaka inspiring yung story niya. So that's it. Thank you so much for attending. And I hope you learned a lot in our webinar today. So take action before it's too late. Thank you, everyone. This is your financial educator, Philip and Imbong. Kindly, Facebook, kindly visit my Facebook page anytime. And this is my contact number and my email address. Thank you so much for listening. God bless everyone and stay safe. Thank you.